There is, after all, nothing new about the idea that the DPRK or North Korea uh, presents a self-mythology about war and the significance of war in its narrative. This goes back for, for 70 years. But there are some important distinctions in the way that they talk about it now, really, in the six years since Kim Jong-un has come into office that I think are at least worth noting. These are not differences of kind so much as perhaps differences of emphasis. The first one is that as a smaller and smaller share of the population has any personal experience or contact with the Korean War, he has to go that much further in order to remind everybody uh, that it is essential uh, part, that it is, it is an essential part of their self-image and more importantly his self-image. He, after all, being the offspring of Kim Il-sung. And in their story, the United States, let's remember, the United States invaded uh, was driven from uh, North Korea in humiliation uh, under the visionary leadership of his grandfather, Kim Il-sung. And for that reason, he has inaugurated a larger, more lavish war museum in downtown Pyongyang. You see this when you go. And uh, even if it was initiated under his father, he has made sure that he makes frequent visits. It's a big part of the propaganda message. Um, and when you walk in, the first thing that you see is a statue three stories tall that looks exactly like Kim Jong-un, but is in fact Kim Il-sung. And if you make a point about that likeness, they are thrilled because that's the point.